What is happening, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Social Media Suck Scope. We're talking about all things social media, things that suck and don't suck. In this case today, the news does not suck because Facebook has updated the controls for their news feed. So um, I'm going to turn this thing around here and, uh, and chat with you. For uh, so this is great. Uh, Facebook continues. Thanks, Jen Cole, for the share. I appreciate that. Vince Herrera, what's good, brother man? Um, Jules, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yo, yo, yo. So this is great because as Facebook continues to ex you know ex expand and uh, they are so user focused. Again, they are. What's up, Lucy? How you doing? How you been? How's your mother? They have been uh, laser focused um, on. They always have been on the user experience the user experience is easy and natural and it makes sense then and it blends well with their advertising platform then it's always a win-win situation so zuck and the crew over there are always trying to refine the uh, user experience so today they've actually updated the news feed controls which basically allows you to go in and say, hey, I want to see this in my uh, feed. I want to see that in my feed. You can already do that on a very limited um, um, manner. This is this is a little bit more um, in-depth. So he here's what I want to turn this back around onto uh, my screen real quick. And I'm going to just, uh, we're just going to play this quick little 30-second, uh, actually 40-second uh, Facebook teaser. And then we're going to chat about what the features are and what you guys like and don't like. Um, if you like what I'm talking about right now, my name is Sebastian Rusk. Wrote a book called Social Media Sucks. I do a scope every day called the Social Media Sucks Scope, talking about brands that suck, brands that don't suck, talking about social media, answering questions, and trying to provide as much value, but, value as I possibly can to you, my valuable audience that tunes in every single day to hear me chatter about this. I appreciate you guys. If you like what's going on, swipe to the right and share this with all your followers. I'm sure everybody wants to know about this update. I'm sure everybody wants to discuss it as well. So we're going to go in pretty in-depth. I'm, I'm down to rock and roll as long as we need to rock and roll. Thanks so much for the hearts. You're tapping there. I love it. I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me know where you're coming in from. Thanks, Lucy. I appreciate you. All right, let's watch this video, this little teaser video real quick. We're always working to make Newsfeed a personalized stream delivering the top stories from the people and pages you connect to on Facebook. But ultimately, you know what matters most to you. So we're expanding your newsfeed preferences in order to give you more control. With one of the new updates to newsfeed preferences, you can choose the people and pages you see first. Whether it's friends or family or your favorite band, they'll be right at the top of your newsfeed so you won't miss their posts. You can always change who you see first in your preferences. And of course, the rest of your newsfeed will still be there to keep you up to date. Now you can better customize your newsfeed, giving you control of the stories you care about most. Prioritize the stories you want to see. Now, um, what's my web address? It is at Sebastian. That's S E B R uh, S E B A S T I A N R U S K. Sebastian Rusk. Man, I wish that I could comment and reply back to these, but I can't yet. I, I was screwing around on Meerkat this morning. It's a ghost town over there, but um, they do give you the ability. Yes, exactly, Lucy. Look at that. Look at that Lucy love coming through. So I haven't had a chance to screw around with any of these features just yet. I just dove into watching that quick video a few minutes ago. And then Time Magazine wrote a pretty interesting article. Actually, t I think, uh, what up, what up, what up? Hey, thank you so much. What up, Ruby? What up, what up, what up? Um, it's called... Uh, Here's how Facebook's newsfeed actually works. How a controversial feature grew into one of the most influential products on the internet. I'm just gonna prop this up right here. Right channel, right quick, you know, let's see it don't fall. Like propping it up on my mic. Okay, so let's just chat about this. Okay, that works, that, that, that frees my hands up a little bit. I can do some tweeting. It only took me seven scopes to realize that I could probably just prop my phone up and talk to you guys, but lighting is really important to me. I, I think there's a lot of scopes going on where there's a light in back of you instead of in front of you. Side note, get that light in front of you. Get some good, decent quality. It's bad enough we have to deal with these black bars if you're watching the replay sometime on YouTube. But, um, okay, let's see what it says here. How a controversial, and I didn't even know the news feed was controversial. Now, it is because Facebook 
allows us to customize our news feeds so that it's it better serves them to better serve ads. The more they know about you, the better off they are with being able to serve ads in a very niche, targeted way. Very smart. Don't get it twisted. Facebook is an advertising agency. However, they are hyper local in the small business market. They are bringing opportunities to small business um, that are allowing those small business people to play on the same level playing field as the big guys, right? So Macy's can run an ad too, but but Joe's um, men's shop locally here um, can 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 run that same ad to the same demographics. Now Macy's budget may be a little bit more, but the bottom line is they're still playing on the same field, which is Facebook. So this article says there are two very important rooms that will f- that will help determine the future of Facebook uh, newsfeed and by extension the way of more than a billion people. How a billion people communicate. One is the corner of Facebook's new 430,000 foot Frank Gehry design building in Menlo Park, California. The other is in a nondescript office park in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, Facebook headquarters, California, about 20 engineers and data scientists meet every Tuesday in the John Quincy Adding Machine Room. Abraham Linksis and Dwight DVD Eisenhower are nearby. They're tasked with assessing the billions of likes, comments, and clicks Facebook users make each day to divine ways to make us like, comment, and click more. In Knoxville, a group of 30 contract workers sit in a room full of desktop computers getting paid to serve Facebook. They are tasked with scrolling their news feed to assess how well the site places stories relative to their personal preference. Their assessments as well as ratings from about 700 other reviewers around the United States are later fed back to the team in California, all in service of improve, improving Facebook's newsfeed algorithm, the software that delivers personalized streams of content. Now, I'm not going to read this whole article because it's pretty extensive, but it does go in depth and help you really better understand. Um, and now that I got both hands free, I can send a tweet. Look at that. Episode seven. I can finally send a live tweet. Get at me, dog, on Twitter. Get at me. At Seb Rusk. At Seb Rusk. Doing this live stuff is so much easier than, oh, let's book a time, let's get a studio, let's do uh, all the logistics, lights, camera. Listen, you need a smartphone and good lighting. The end. I, I'm glad. I'm glad, Jewel. You make me smile. Your comments make me smile. I need to get the bow tie on. I, I get a little lazy when I'm working from the home office and not out and about. I got a gig tonight that I've got to get out to. Well, when I say gig, it's a restaurant that I'm going to eat some food, create some buzz. I'll I'll throw on a bow tie tonight. I'm going to scope, actually. The place is called Made in Italy Gourmet. It's here in Miami. And uh, what up, Lucy? I got your tweet. I got your tweet. Um, It's here in Wynwood. It's the artsy. It's the Soho version of Miami, artsy area. And um, I caught them on Instagram last night. They're doing a summer series. Follow them on Instagram if you want. It's uh, Made in Italy Gourmet. And I hit him up and said, this looks like a great home for Foodie Buzz, where I go in and do kind of a diner's drive-ins and dives, kind of Anthony Bourdain, storyteller. What up, Kathy? What up? What up? What up, Sonia? Sonia! Sonia! Um, and uh, so tonight I'm going to go I'm gonna go have some dinner over there, create some buzz, and then we're going to go back, have lunch, and we'll shoot episode number four, no, episode number three of Foodie Buzz. Foodie buzz. That's my passion, eating. It's my favorite part of the day. It was my favorite subject in school, lunch, etc. Uh, okay, let's see here. We're going to Twitter, and we're going to tweet this link. We're going to tweet this link, even though I'm not wearing pink, and I'm not a rapper, so I'm going to stick to my day job. My day job. Um, let's see here. Here's how the Facebook... Look at you, Lucy. Light me up over there. Light me up, Lucy. No, you rock, Kathy. You rock. How you doing? How you been? How's your mother? Should I get some more light in here? It's a little... Let's see what we got here. There we go. Is that too much light? I think I just too much light here. That's good, but then I'm not freed up here. Oh, it's getting a little cloudy outside there. It's getting a lot of cloudy out there, I tell you. All right, let's see here. It is a little dark. Okay. So a little dark, we're going to lighten it up. We're going to light it up. Well, I mean, with all you lovely people in the room, it's already lit up. But, uh, boom. How you doing? How you been? How's your mother? Okay. So, um, what's the name of this article? It's pretty lengthy. And it'd be like story time if I sat here and just read the whole thing to you guys. 
So I just wanted to I just wanted to dabble on it real quick. Thanks for all the hearts. If you guys want to share this with your peeps that might want to know about the new update um, to the controls for your Facebook feed, just go ahead and swipe to the right and share. Um, let's see here. Good, good. You tell your mom I said, well, ah! Um, here's how the news feed works. Okay. All right, and the hashtag, my, I hashtag everything with social media sucks. Because that's the name of my book. And some people, anytime there's another post about social media sucks, it's always about somebody complaining about something. Yeah, I don't know how all that works, but you know. Okay, I've tweeted that, at Seb Rusk, if you've tweeted me. Because if you tweet me, then I'll tweet you back. How's that sound? Um, Instagram is the same thing, social media sucks. Same thing, same program. What up, creative mama? Are you a creative mama? Because I'm a creative papa. I love the interaction. It's fantastic. When you can finally, I think we should be able to comment back to people, but I think the comment is the dialogue here. So, um, yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. Here's how Facebook uh, newsfeed actually works. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so also, um, Updated. I'm going to tweet this out too because this is on the face. Facebook has a newsroom. It's newsroom.fb.com. That's where all the breaking, um, what we're talking about, the Facebook um, updated controls for the news feed. You can go in there and choose um, the people you want to tune out. That unfollow button, though. Love it. It's fantastic and very not impersonal, you know? You don't have to unfriend someone. You got to be really stupid to get unfriended for me. You know what I mean? You got to, I mean, stupid shit hurt. It should. That's another. That's for another scope. That's the stupid scope. That's the stupid scope. Ah, it's so funny. Speaking of social media sucks, so I had dinner at this restaurant about six weeks ago around the corner, real fancy Argentinian steakhouse, and uh, uh, I, I posted a picture and checked in there, and six weeks later they said, thanks so much for joining us. It was so great to have you. I was like, hey, better late than never. <laughs> uh, so they just responded back, thanks, so three days later. Um, hey, Johnny, come lately. A new kid in town, huh? In this case, luckily we found you. I mean, really, I mean, you, stupid should hurt. I don't want to call these people stupid, but there, there is, um, um, there are the wrong, let's just say this, okay? There are the wrong individuals with the wrong jobs for some of these brands. It blows my mind, some of the people that allow, I mean, you're allowing these people to, to, to represent your brand on Facebook um, and online, because this stuff doesn't go away. Somebody slips up and says something, you've got a PR nightmare like that, right? Just ask, you know, Subway. Who knows who did what or where, where, the bottom line is, FBI Subway. Those two words were freaking crisscrossed, and hello, PR nightmare. Happy Monday. Um, Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate you sharing this and tweeting it out. If you don't know how to share it, you got to swipe to the right. You swipe to the right and you hit share like that. And you tap the screen and all the hearts come and then people, you know. All right, now the sun came blaring in here. My light. See, this is how people normally do it, like this. So, how's it going? Welcome to my Periscope. And, um, you know, I kind of look like I'm walking on the sun, walking on the sun. You know, that, I don't, I don't, don't, if you, if, if you, if you do your Periscopes with the lighting behind you, you look like this, right? Oh, it looks like it's just bad. It's awful. Um, so don't ever do this, okay? Here's the big difference. Ready? Bam, bam. No, I don't eat spam. You see how that works? All right. Let's get back to the let's get back to the lecture at hand. Here we go. Back to the lecture at hand. I'm not gonna rap either because I'm not a rapper. But I am a clapper. Give everyone one of those clap on. Clap up. Alright, so um I'm going to tweet out updated controls for the Facebook news feed as well. That's from the Facebook news feed room, and that's what we're going to chit-chat about if I can stop AD and ADD and out. Um, that happens sometimes. Look, squirrel. I'm still not excited about this lighting. Let's see here. What up, C C24? CC24? Um, how's that? I'm not rapping, Marcus. I'm not. I'm just not. You know, every now and then I get a little Tiger style, you know? The Wu-Tang can just takes over. And then I got to, you know, it just happens. You know, a little boom. Ah, all right. Back to the news feed. All right, here we go. So um, I tweeted both of those out because we we're about to discuss those. So gather around, y'all. Gather around. Gather around. 
Um, let's see here. Oh, is look at it. Oh, squirrel. Uh, are you guys getting acclimated here? Oh, I say, well, Marcus, look at it. Look, creative mama. My people know your people. You see how that works? It's 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 one scope at a time, just bringing folks together. All right, here we go. Social media. So this is almost um, as fun as doing um, stand up, almost. Except there's less nerves, and I don't even know if I have jokes at all. Really, this is not a comedy. This is uh, shiny, happy. Yeah, it's a great one. I prefer night swimming too. Great song, and I like to swim at night too. But I don't have a pool. But if I did, I would swim at night. You feel me? Um, let's see here. I knew that was next. When I go skinny dipping, absolutely. What? Hey, as long as they're talking about you, you're doing something right, okay? Every time I'm traveling, I try to definitely make sure I streak down the hallway screaming, I fell in love with the go-go. Ow! They're like, security, security. Uh, we've got a gringo in a bow tie running down the hallway screaming, I am in love with the Coco. We're not really sure what that is. And um, he's naked. And then I cannonball into the pool. And they're like, yeah! And they're like, sir, um, are you staying with us? I'm like, yeah, I'm staying here. I'm actually um, I'm giving a keynote talk in the morning. <laughs> I'm actually the MC for the event. So uh, that usually gets things going. Um, doesn't work real well for my invites back. But... Um, it makes me think of old school, you know? Hey, honey, we're going streaking. She's like, we? A little cold out tonight, huh, Frank? All right, so I've tweeted both of these out, and um, let, let's chit-chat about them. Enough of, the, uh, enough of the peanut gallery here. Uh, we're just going to go over them briefly real quick so everybody knows what's going on. First of all, to be able to find these uh, preferences, uh, you're going to have to... Uh, Okay, to help prioritize stories, that would, be your, that would be your stories. Make sure you don't miss posts from particular friends and pages. You can select within this option. Now, within the newsfeed preferences, you tap on a friend's profile picture to see their post, post first. It's, it's probably better for, and this is a pretty, I thought this was just find new pages. Okay, so they're going to give you page suggestions too. Pages based on stuff that you already like. Hey, you might like this too. Like they, they recommend people, um, which is a little weird. It, what do you think about that? They, they're like, you might know this person. I'm like, but I don't. Mm, but you might. So I find myself, you hit the little X and it goes away. Select which friends and pages. It is weird, isn't it? Select which friends and pages to follow or unfollow. So you go in and uh, to, get, uh, to get news feed preferences, tap more in the bottom right-hand corner of your mobile app. Uh, news feed preferences are located under settings. So you're so you'll go to the Facebook app under your settings. You're going to go to your news feed feed settings, and you're going to see all these new options. Okay, so knowing Facebook, they'll have something pop up right in front of you as soon as you open your app. That's going to ask you if you'd like to adjust these settings. Um, no, not at all. Are you kidding? Absolutely not. Not even a little bit. Not. I mean. If anything, I think people are more active. Brands are, are and now everybody's like, if I'm not in the Facebook game, I'm not in the game. I'm not in the marketing game. I, in my opinion, um, with with Periscope coming out, um, no, because I think Periscope is just the first. That's the first rite of passage. It's like the first. That's the first. That's the first doorway um, into the brand potentially, right? So Facebook is doing. You know, I'm sure they they did some sort of streaming. They streamed. Actually, they did. They didn't. I don't think they used an application to do it because um, they, they don't want to endorse anything that's not currently theirs. But they did stream as they always do their town hall meetings. And Zuck takes questions on his Facebook page as a Q and A uh, in an effort to um, in, in, to find content to talk. About about at these town hall meetings. So I would like to think that live streaming, yes, is going to be an absolutely relevant um, um, means of a brand being able to communicate. I, I think that the, you know, I always say this and I talk about this constantly, all people want and we all want it, whether you're willing to admit it or not, is we want to peek behind the curtain. We want to know what's going on behind the scenes at that brand. We want to, we want to meet the CEO and the team and the staff and we want to know the people behind this product that we consume or this brand that we do business with. People want to know that stuff and I think that live streaming, it really gives um, you that unique opportunity. I think of all the people that I follow, obviously, 
within the talent realm, the hosting realm, television realm. Um, I've got a lot of guys that I follow, um, a lot of people, girls that I follow that are just stellar um, uh, at what they do. Uh, Ryan Seacrest being one of them. So for Ryan to 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 periscope uh, in between commercial breaks during his radio show and answer questions. Um, I thought was incredible because people are asking questions that you don't ordinarily hear the answer to or have the opportunity to be able to, to interact. So I think that that's just a, a great opportunity. I don't think that this is going to, I don't, I don't think this is a sales tool other than the fact that I'm not here to sell you guys anything. I'm a social media strategist and I, I speak about social media. I create buzz for brands um, and my agency helps brands with social media, but I'm not doing that to talk about doing that. If I provide you enough value, you're going to do your homework and find out what I do. And in the event there's a match within what you're doing in your ecosystem, we're going to do business together. That's just plain and simple. Chances are we, we, we may not do business together, but we're going to stay connected. You're going to become part of my tribe. Hopefully I'll become part of your tribe and welcome into your ecosystem. That's how we're able to support each other. So um, I just wanted to make uh, today's episode relevant to the news that uh, is currently happening today with Facebook. And uh, yeah, squirrel! Uh, because I think that uh, we want to be able to customize uh, what we see and how information is delivered to us and how we get information. I'm going to follow you too, creative mama. Uh, we want to be able to customize it. We should be able to customize that. You know, I don't want to see ads that have absolutely nothing to do with my preferences. I want to see exactly, I think it was Gary Vee that said, you know, short of my bank account and social security number, which Facebook probably has anyway, um, I don't care how much, um, awesome, what kind of food you make. What you making? What you got cooking? I don't care how much information they have about me because the more info they have about me, the more that they can cater to my needs and serve to serve me exactly what I want to see. The data is already there. It's just getting easier and faster and faster and faster. Good. Nutritious food is the way to go. Way to go. All right, so that's a wrap for episode seven of the Social Media Suck Scope. We don't have to stop this conversation now. Maybe you're watching this on YouTube and you want to leave a comment below. Uh, I aggressively check those constantly. Um, send me a tweet if you've watched this live. Um, no, social media. Now, 10 years ago, if you told me you were following me, I would call the police. That's creepy. Um, no, it's not getting more creepy. Well, that sounds great. Wow, yummy. Social media does suck if you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, let's stay in touch. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Seb Rusk. Find me on Facebook. My email address is srusk at socialbuzztv.com. Remember, if you make enough noise, someone will come knock on your door. I am living proof of that, okay? I'm Sebastian Rusk, and this has been the Social Media Sucks Scope, episode number seven, talking about the updated newsfeed settings for your viewing and settings pleasure. And it is a pleasure for that unfollow button. That is a gift. Hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for watching the replay if you're doing that as well. Let's stay connected. You got show ideas for me, brands that suck, that don't suck. Start using the hashtag social media sucks. Let's get a conversation going. The goal is to be able to shift people's thought process. I want to disrupt your thought process. I want you to know what you don't. I want to help you know what you don't know that you don't know. If I can make an emotional connection with you by providing value to you, then by default, you're going to be in my ecosystem, into my tribe, and I'll help you and you help me. And like Forrest Gump said, Bubba, you just lean up against my back and I'll lean up against your back. That way we don't have to sleep in the mud. Happy Thursday, friends. Thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you because without you, this show doesn't happen. Well, it does, but that would be creepy. Okay, that's creepy. Doing your own Periscope with no people in there. So lonely. Anyway, guys, happy Thursday. Be good, and if you can't be good, be good at it.